Welcome to Ajadi Math class. Today, our topic is going to be focused on matrix. From the definition of matrix, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers in rows and columns. When we talk about the word rows and columns, let's assume a matrix A given to us in this one. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a typical example of um, matrix. So when we talk about the word rows and columns, this is the row. Okay, and then when we talk about the word column, this is our column. In other way around, we say row is the same as what the horizontal line, okay, while the column is the same as what the vertical. So in this case, this is our row, while this is our column. The second row, um, this is our second row. This is our third row. The case of colon, we have this as our colon, this also as our colon. So that is um, the definition of matrix. When you have numbers arranged in rows and also in columns. And um, moreover, looking at our explanation here, a row matrix, there is a need for you to understand what we mean by order of a matrix. Okay? A, row, a matrix surely have an order. The example of this is 3 by 3 matrix. And how do we determine the order of the matrix? You can see from here that we have three rows just like this. This is the first row, the second row, and the third row. That means we have how many rows? Three. So also, we have how many columns in this? We have one, two, and three columns. So in this matrix, this is a typical example of three by three matrix. Let's look at another example. So now we have another example of a matrix. Don't forget, if you want to determine the order of the matrix, we use this format, N by N, okay? So all you can say, a R by C, okay? Where R represents the rows and C represents the colon. Looking at the example of the matrix given to us here, we have our matrix A given to us as this. We have this and we have this. Can you pause this video for a second and tell me the dimension of this matrix? I'm very sure you are going to happy with me that we have how many rows here? We have one. Sorry, let me change the color. Yeah. We have one and we have two. So for the dimension, we have two rows. And how many columns do we have here? Um, we have um, one, two, three. So we have three columns. So in this matrix, we have two rows and then we have three columns. So that is how to determine the order of these matrix. Yeah, continuing with my definition of matrix. So we have the order of the matrix in the form of what? M by N, where my N is the number of rows and N is the number of columns. So looking at this example here, we have matrix A to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the order is what? 2 by 3, because we are having two rows and we are having three columns, okay? So that's what we have. Secondly, we have what is known as a square matrix. We have a square matrix, given a matrix B to be equal to, let's say, A11, A12, A21, a22. This is a square matrix. And how do we determine a square matrix? 
is when the number of rows and the number of columns are equal. In this case, we have one, two. We have two rows. And how many columns do we have here? We have one, two. We have two columns. So when you have a two by two matrix, it is what? It is a square matrix. Or when you have three by three matrix, it is also a square matrix. So a square matrix is a matrix in which the number of rows and the number of columns are equal. Okay? Moreover, we have um, the definition of entry matrix. Entry matrix is almost the same thing with the element in the matrix. Now look at this. If you want to determine the position of this, this is on row 1, column 1, row 2, row 1, column 2, because in this case, if you have something like this, 1, 2, 3, we have 4, 5, 6. Okay? Now, if you look at this 1, it assumes the position of what? Group 1, column 1. Okay? If you look at this 2, it assumes the position of what? Row 1, column 2. What do I mean? This is on row 1. But this is on column 1, this is on column 2. And our 3, we have the value of what? Row 1, column 3. Because this is the third column. So moving to the next one, which is 4, the position is, this is row 2 now, and this is the first column. So we have row 2, column 1, and here we have what? Row 2, still on row 2, and this is the second column on row 2, column 2. And the last one will be row 2, column 3. And as you can see here, we have the entry of row 2, a two comma three means row two column three to be six. So that's what you have. Um, moreover, there's what we call transpose of the matrix. A transpose it is um, when you switch the rows into columns. Example, we have matrix C to be equal to let's say one, two, three, four. Five, six. So our rows are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the rows and these are our columns. Now we want to transpose this. So transposing our matrix C will now be, in this case, these rows will be transformed into columns. So we have one, two. Okay? The second row will be transformed into columns. We also have three, four, and the last rows will be transformed into columns, we have five, six. Can you see now? Naturally, um, matrix C has the position, the dimension of what? What is the dimension? One, two, three. Three rows, two columns, has the dimension of three by two, while our C transpose will be the other way around, okay? Because you are switching. So that will be one, two rows, one, two, three, three columns. So we have, sorry, uh -huh. we have, um, in this case, we have two by three. So that is the designation. And lastly, we have what is known as the null matrix. The null matrix are matrix such that all entries are zero. All the entries must be zero. That is called a null matrix or zero matrix. So now we look at the basic operation of matrix. In this, now in this aspect, we will be adding and subtracting matrix. So we are looking at the addition and subtraction of matrices. In this case, there are some certain things you need to know for you to add matrix A and B together. One of the rules says that that the uh, their order must be equal. Okay? The order must be what? Equal. They must have equal order. 
That means when you have your matrix A to be 2, 3, 1, 4. Okay? And you have your matrix B to be, let's say, um, 5, minus 1, 2, 0. If you look at this, we have the order of this to be what? 2 by 2 matrix. And we have this to also be 2 by 2 matrix. In this case, we have the same order, so possibly you can add or you can subtract. But in a situation whereby you have different orders, then you can neither add nor subtract. Okay? So let's look at the first example given to us there. And the muscle, one of the rules is that you add, okay? Equal element, yeah, uh, one is called respective element, okay? You can only add this and this together because they are the same position. You can add this and this together, they are equal position. You can add this and only this together while this and this together, okay? You are adding numbers with respect to their position. Let's look at the first example given to us above there. Now, looking at this first example given to us there, we are going to solve this now. We have matrix A plus B. Okay? And our matrix A is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Our matrix B is 5, 6, 7, 8. We are adding this together. Don't forget, I told you we are adding the respective values. So in this case, this is what we are going to do. You have to add 1 and 5. They have equal position. So in this case, we are having 1 plus 5 together. Okay? Then we go with what? 2 and 6. 2 plus 6. Okay? Also, we look at this. 3 and 7. 4 and 8. Okay? So we look at 3 plus 7, 4 plus 8. Because they have the same position, so this gives what? 1 plus 5 gives 6. 2 plus 6 gives what? 8. 3 plus 7 gives what? 10. And 4 plus 8 gives what? 12. So that means you've added the two matrices together. Okay, I believe you quite understood the addition of matrix. Okay, secondly, we look at subtraction, and we're using the same example to illustrate what we mean by subtraction. Now we are subtracting this matrix. I'm, I'm removing this and I'm changing this with subtraction. Okay, so subtracting this matrix, you are going to have. 1 minus 5, the same rule applies, just that the sign is going to change. 2 minus 6, okay? 3 minus 7, 4 minus 8, okay? And in this case, we are going to have 1 minus 5 gives minus 4, 2 minus 6 gives minus 4, 3 minus 7 gives minus 4, 4 minus 8 gives minus 4. Wow. <laughs> you can see that we have equal values there. Okay? So it's possible. So looking at the, um, you can use this knowledge to do this. Okay? Here we have 8, 7, 6, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here we have 8 minus 1, which gives 7. We have 7 minus 2, which gives 5. 6 minus 3, which gives 3, and also 5 minus 4, which gives 1, okay? More so, I'm going to explain scalar multiplication. In our next video, we are going to look at multiplication of matrix and also division of matrix. We are going to look at inverse matrix as well. So, stay tuned and um, follow this channel. Thank you very much. See you next video.